Right, so another terrain example I want to show you is how you can actually use a filter like wind uh, to affect the overall flow and shape of the terrain. It's actually super, super cool. So if you go in for something like uh, sand dunes or just terrain that's uh, had some wind erosion applied to it, it's super, super cool and easy to do. Right, so we're going to start from a fresh slate. So just say new project. And then I am going to go to filters, add layer. And I'll just click on add. And I'm going to start off with a directional balloon. So again, every single one of these filters has a description. This one for me just creates a nice base to start off with. Right, then immediately I'm going to go and add an erosion effect called wind. So really, really awesome feature. You can see it starts changing the overall shape and flow of our design. This wind has basically been affecting our terrain over here. So I can adjust the overall length of this wind. So you can see it's almost like creating sand dunes now. Um, and then there's some options over here. I showed you earlier that this operation can be either addition or a subtraction. Uh, noise basically adds some pearl and noise on the surface. If that's something you're going for, if you want a little bit of breakup with noise, but we won't be using that. Uh, the height and slope select, I don't really use that much. I know this height select that can adjust uh, the overall height that's relative to the ocean. So if there were certain areas where there was going to be water, you could adjust that height. Uh, but I'm going to play around with the angle select over here. And this is really cool because if I move around this angle, you can see it basically determines where this wind effect is being applied. So if I increase the overall angle width over here, you can see it just, it's so cool. It's basically applying just that wind effect in this particular region that's creating this wind erosion over there. So really, really awesome way just to play around with the wind and how you can control the angle as well. So I'm going to leave mine, leave mine like this. Okay, so it's angled like that. And then I'm going to add a sediment complex, one of my favorite filters. Okay, and you can adjust the angle select here as well. All right, just to give it some more complexity and a different overall look and feel when you design. So just playing around with some ideas here and seeing what we can actually come up with. Right, then I'm going to add another sediment complex and that's going to make this terrain look a little bit smoother now. As you can see. Okay, I can adjust the length. So if we're going for these windy eroded terrains, these are the filters that I tend to use. The main one being that wind filter. So if you were maybe going for sand dunes over here, I'll maybe go back to base and here by the general strength, I'll actually decrease that and even decrease the factor. And now you can see it starts really smoothing it out, but there's still some surface detail on there that's creating these very smooth looking uh, sand dunes in our scene, just using that wind effect. All right, so really, really cool fil uh, filter if you guys are going for something that applies wind erosion uh, onto your terrain. And of course, since we're in base, I can go to custom base shape, edit the shape, and maybe we want some of these sand dunes over here, whatever, to be a little bit higher or lower than the other ones. And we've got all those effects applied on here in real time with all of those filters. And if I wanted to, I can go back to filters. Let's maybe add one more wind erosion on here. So that's going to make it really smooth, almost looking like, like maybe like proper sand dunes now. Uh, from, from reference images, there also tends to be, I'm going to use some of this erosion deep on here. Sometimes you'll see some of the sand dunes has some, it kind of looks like erosion a little bit. Uh, but this tends to be a little bit extreme, so I'm not actually we're not 100 percent sure if I would use this one here. Um, sometimes this is just fine for me if I was going for maybe some sand dunes or wind or terrain that's been affected by wind. So really awesome filters that you guys can start playing around with. Okay.